Welcome one and all, Love Them Knives channel, LTK here. We have the Shodan. Believe it or not, Shodan. So what's that? Some kind of search engine that searches for vulnerable sites, etc. BT1910A. So this is all the silver one like this. Todd Knife and Tool Design. Now, I guess this kind of brings me back to malware which was one of their other knives. So are they doing techie things to us? Is that what they're doing? Where is that? Hold on. Remember the malware? I like that knife. And this reminds me a lot of that knife, but real slender, long blade. And then you had the Roxy, which was a smaller knife. And then, which was we, and then the Roxy, four which is a bigger one so i you know this was my favorite of all their knives okay until this hit now we change blades although we've got very similar design aesthetics here we have changed the blade to this really nice flat grind drop point uh which I like. And then this big choil up here, which some people will or will not like because, you know, you've taken that much cutting ability away as far as depth of cutting edge when you do that. I'm okay with that. Uh, as, you know, in, in, in lieu of being able to, jumping up here, by the way, go all the way up in here, okay, and really get up on whatever you're gonna cut. What are we gonna cut? We're gonna cut something by damn it. Ooh, here we go. And yes, uh, okay, yeah, it's sharp. Best tech. I'll tell you what, I spent a little bit of time with this knife before I brought it in here to do this. I like it, I like it. It's, uh, we're gonna take it apart. It's somewhat weight relieved on the inside, okay? It doesn't feel that heavy. I think it's like four and a half ounces. Let me do this. But check it out. The action's pretty nice. And I haven't put a wrench to it or nothing. So it's centered. No blade play lock rock. You can finger flick it open because you got a cutaway there. Love the, the blade design. And it flows. This design flows really nicely. Right up here, it looks like they're using their available blade or uh, handle length really well, okay? And I like the little design cues they're doing with these fullers that are running all along the cutout. These little milled areas here that kind of give it extra style points. Really, the Todd knife and tool thing is cool. And it looks, you know, like a saw, circular saw or something. So it, it kind of gives it that industrial feel as well with the holes and these little cutaways. You know, it's not contoured, it's flat, but um, yeah, I mean, you got some different levels of milling going on. I like it. Uh, and I like the hardware being kind of a machined look instead of a button top, you know, kind of more socket head machined. So that's cool. And the back spacer. Check it out. Okay. Lanyard hole area. Put it on the scales finally. And yes, 140 grams. Not that bad. Uh, oh, 4.95. Okay, I must have been thinking about a different knife. This is not 4.5, but it is under 5. It's under 5. So throw it out with uh, my Paladin. Might be a little bit bigger. Been using that. Oh, I'll tell you one thing that is bigger. It's my uh, Wii uh, Blocal. Definitely bigger. Of course, this is nine and a quarter inches overall. How crazy is that? Put that one away. Um... My Cebu, Cebu's eh, right there with it. Maybe a little bit bigger, actually. And if we wanted to throw, like, the shredder out, we could do that, too. Civivi. Pretty. 
pretty close right here and there pretty close so let's put a tape to it and see what we really got i think it's like 3.6 inch blade no it's more like i'm sorry 3.8 inch blade and 8.6 i was thinking 8.6 8.65 overall length and that's about 22 centimeters long but yeah that's a lot of blade isn't it now cutting length <laughs> you know 3.4 inches but 3.8 you know, uh overall uh blade length so yeah uh you're talking what 100 millimeters if you didn't see that right there that 100 millimeter eh, okay 98 millimeters blade stock thickness i don't think that's four millimeters well dang it probably is 0.156 doesn't look like it yeah it is four millimeters okay Mm, 13 millimeter thickness 0.51 so really pretty standard here okay at 0.51 hold on let me throw this back over because i don't know if i grabbed the fattest part yeah i did okay 0 0.51 0 0.51 but this is four millimeter blade stock okay but nice flat grind that's a useful blade piercing slicing that kind of thing and like i said the backspacer it's got some machining on it you can feel that coming down the backside as well underneath you can look under you can see it's weight relieved we will disassemble this knife by the way and yeah ergos are good here they're fine and i have enough room smallest finger back here but if you go up like this wow that's really really comfortable as well this is really comfortable uh reverse grip that's nice that's nice as well got my thumb right here yeah i like this i'll tell you what i'm trying to think of a best tech knife i really like better than this this is gonna be tough to beat gonna be tough to beat that's nice um detent of course there's no blade player lock rock and it's centered right up so get that covered but uh detent hmm, it's fairly standard hold on okay yeah it didn't take as much as i thought it was going to take to get it out of there uh no no i can't do it like this though so i can flick it like this okay i i'd give it a five on my d10 scale so that's good it's pretty standard with a lot of knives can i fail it i'm sure i can i think i can there you go i can fail it okay yeah i believe it has ceramic bearings we'll know that better when we take it apart take a look at the pocket clip that's interesting two screws back here nicely done i like it um uh, wow i like the way they did this knife i'm yeah, I think this would be one of the best tech titaniums. And I love the best tech uh, G10 knives, the Texel, of course, my, yeah, Paladin. I got the Swordfish. I got, <laughs> I got the Hornet um, in red and in black, you know, that kind of thing. So just so many of their G10 knives I really, really like. Uh, and I could go on and on, but the titanium ones, the Shinkensen, the Ornetta, they've, they've done some really good ones, but I'm really attracted to this. Oh, by the way, here's your lockup. Eh, I'd say 25 to 30. 
it, it, another thing here, flipper tab, it's jimped, but it's not really tall, is it? That's nice. I'm glad they didn't go all crazy on the flipper tab. Doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be. And here it is. Almost like a lot of the Isham knives, the flipper tab will be even with this bottom piece right here. So that matches up. This one's just a little bit longer, but that's okay. Actually, that's fine. Did I say it's CPMS 35VN steel? And they're free. Yeah, you don't you don't even have to pay for them. Just kidding. Okay, so they're 230 bucks. $23 off of that though. Okay. So what are you at 207 on White Mountain if you use the LTK discount code? So you can get them in that, and you can get them in, oh well, they're you know all black or you can get carbon fiber on the front and titanium on the back which i don't do but i like this one here and then here's an all uh black oh that's probably carbon fiber black yeah carbon fiber black black and then all black black titanium and then carbon fiber satin and then all this silver and satin so there you go with that yeah, it does feel light. Where's my balance point? Yeah, nicely balanced. It it feels like four and a half ounces. It it feels pretty doggone light. Not taking up a lot of uh, real estate this way, so it's not bad that way either. I like the backspacer. I mean, just so much of this knife I like. I mean, right hand tip up only eh, not a deep carry pocket clip but not bad not bad easy to disengage check out this pass through here so just like that now how it gets over that detent ball just like that doesn't it by the time it hits your thumb it's over the detent ball Congratulations, that's another fidget-friendly trick on a knife that, a good knife, but it's nice to, hey, build in the fidget factor. It's just like an extra plus for us crazy people out here. So, yes, I mean, good balance, good design, blade to length, detent, fit and finish is good. You know, the right size, maybe a little bit big for some of you guys out there. But the ergos are good, easy pass through, release, sharp, good materials. Now, will it disassemble, right? That's the next question. Let's throw the dirt rag out there and get with it. So, let's see what we got. Bingo, bango, we've got number eights as well so that's just another plus on this knife number eights all the way around thank you so much best tech for that Ooh, easy out there that's nice it didn't feel like it had a bunch of thread locker or anything although there's something under there we'll need to kind of clean up a little bit uh let's go after this now nah, these are nice and easy to pull Okay. Should come off. Oh, easy. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And one more to go. And we're just going to push to make sure... We don't slip. Okay. But not a problem. Okay, there's that screw. Body screw. Open her up. Yeah, 
And, you know, when you have a backspacer like this, you know, it fits snugly. So you want to kind of give yourself a little bit to kind of wiggle it back and forth to pull that off there. Mm, ceramic detent ball and steel washer in here. Ceramic bearings. And of course, you know, your little detent hole, detent track. Let's take a closer look at that. Here's your bearing. Let's take a look at that detent track. Eh, I was thinking there was a little bit of a, a detent ramp right there, but not really. Okay. Kind of struck me that way. D-shaped uh, pivot, which means it's going to center this thing correctly when it goes in. See that? This D-shape right here. So when that comes through, it turns here, but... So here's all our parts and pieces, and... You can see a lot of weight relieving, even on the lock bar side, weight relieving all through here. Hardened steel insert over travel stop, as I said before, here's your, your stop. Um, and if we want to build it back, we can build it back from this side. Now, there's your washer. This is going to center up because it's only going to fit through uh, the other the other side. Let me push this in. It's only going to fit through the other side where that flat goes because on the other side you can see the flat spots right there. You know that side. And that's what that's pointing at, too. So that's how that's going to have to line up. You don't have a choice, and that's a good thing. There you go. You throw your bearings down. Uh, let's get about, what, 20 gallons of lube. Throw it on there. Okay, we'll settle for 10 and a half. Because it's holidays. And I've seen a lot of pretty well lubricated people out and about. It's amazing. Especially with all the NFL games and college bowl games. Yes, they are lubricated. Okay, here we go. And so, let's help the bearings get that way too. There we go. And here's our pin. So, our pin's going to meet up right there with that little doggy. Stick it on. Right back on. Let's see if I am. Next, the one and only body screw that has no involvement with the uh, pocket clip. Okay, and then we've got the pocket clip long and short right one goes in through uh through the backspacer but one is just not as deep as the other and here they go and let's get this settled in and let's Get this put to bed as well. Okay. Centered. No blade play. 
no issues back together the shodan way way good comes in a box like this with a zipper pouch in case you hadn't had a best tech knife and of course uh, microfiber cloth in here your plastic and your best tech warranty information so all those good things and I've dragged you out too long but just wanted to show you the box at the very end I think it's my favorite best tech titanium knife to date and that's saying a lot because they put a lot of good ones out take care my friends thank you for hanging around you know what we do we love them knives and you guys stay sharp